Hello. Hello, Pam. Oh, I can hear you just fine, honey. What you up to? Oh, I'm good. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. I just got done eating a whole bucket of tater puffs. I feel like such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's real nice to hear your voice. You sound like a baby girl. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I sound like an old hag. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, no, no. You don't sound like an old hag. You sound like a baby girl, you know. You sound just good, okay? Okay, honey. So, this is so much fun meeting you. I mean, tell me about yourself, honey. You're just handsome as hell. <laughs> oh, goodness. You're making me blush. You know that, right? Oh, gosh. Maybe it's high blood pressure. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah, mate. Oh, there you are, honey. How are you? Oh, I'm good. It's good to hear your voice, you know. I've been dreaming about hearing your voice for a long time now. Well, honey, Hope I... you okay. I wondered where you went, you know, and, and, and we was talking and you disappeared. No, I didn't just despair that I just called back and the connection was kind of crappy, but I tried calling you back, but it wasn't connecting. Oh. I was so, so worried. Oh, I was honey. thinking you ran up. Oh, honey, I just I thought you didn't me. want to talk to me. I mean, it happens. No, 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 no. I, uh, come on, you make me smile, you make me feel happy. So, you know, you, you're like part of me now, so <laughs> I'm so happy, you know, to, to finally meet you, to finally get to know that I have someone who I could talk to, I could be with, you know, once I finish from work. Just want to come back home to you, you know, oh, put a ring on your finger. A ring on my finger? Oh, Lord, well, <laughs> I don't know what to say, I a, a ring. No, come on, Dad. You know, like every day I want to wake up next to you. You know, I want to go back home to you. I just want you to know that um, you you really what I want and you all I desire. You know, when you were not talking to me for those days and I was really worried, where did you go to? What happened to you? I was so so worried. I texted you severally, but I didn't get anything. So I was really really worried about you. You know, but I'm really happy you're here with me now. Oh, honey, well, I'm just a, I'm a blessing to you, honey. So, how's work going, sweetheart? What are you doing? I told you already, I'm a doctor, I'm a medical doctor, you know. Well, I know, honey, I know you're a medical doctor and you're, but I was just wondering how things are going. Are you fixing up a lot of people? Yeah, yeah, you know, the COVID-19 is so, so much and so many lives have been affected through it, you know. So I'm just trying my best to make sure, you know, I save as much life as I can, you know. Oh, I know. I would always, I, I would save as much as possible. If oh. it puts us you, save you too. Oh, honey, well, I got the COVID. I got a lot of things, but I ain't got no damn COVID yet. No, honey, it's so scary. You know, my sister Bardine, last week we were walking around the Costco. And, you know, we'd been in there for a while because it was free sample day and... You know, I thought she had COVID because she was huffing and a puffing. And I said, Bardeen, honey, do you think you got the COVID? But no, she was fine. She just really, really obese. And she was just huffing and puffing because she's damn fat. But it's so scary because you never know, honey. I've been staying safe. I've been staying in the house. I wear my mask when I go out, honey. I wear a face shield. And I carry a broomstick. If anyone comes near six feet of me, I just hit him on the head. But, you know, <laughs> now I ain't kidding. I beat some woman the other day at the at the Walmart. But, uh, you know, it's scary because you just don't know. But I'm glad that you're a doctor and you're helping people. Where where are you at, honey? Is it is it bad where you're at? It's 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 really kind of terrible where I am, you know. That it's really terrible. But in as much as it is terrible, I try as much as possible to stay safe, you know, as I'm trying to please others, I try to protect myself, which is very, very important. I'm oh, happy yeah. you're trying to protect yourself from the COVID because it's, uh, it's very, very deadly, you know, oh. and I won't want, I won't be happy if you have it, you know, I want you to stay safe, you know, because oh. I want to come back home to you, you know. Oh, honey. You, you, your blessings, mate. I know. You know that, right? I know, honey. I wouldn't be happy if I had it either, hell. Where, where are you doctoring, honey? Are you, where are you at? Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hello, Dad. Can you hear me? Oh, there you are, sweetie. Okay, yeah. 
you know, the connection sometimes is kind of crappy. Sometimes I don't have what you say. Oh, no. What did you, oh, say? Yeah. What did you say, Dad? Oh, I was asking oh, you, I was asking where, are you where are you a doctor at? Okay, like now, you know, due to the COVID-19, we always move from one place to the other. Like now, I'm, I'm at Afghanistan right now, Dad. Oh. Oh, yeah. so, so due to COVID, you just kind of moving all over the place and spreading it about, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hello? Hello, honey. Hello, honey. Yeah, I can hear you, Dad. What did you say, Dad? Oh, I said because of the COVID, you did, they move you around all over the place. I mean, that's the smart thing to do when there's a pandemic. Keep moving around all over, honey. Yes, Dad, I've been moving around all over because of the COVID. Okay. So when are you coming home? You say what? When are you getting when to come home? Oh, very soon, then very soon. Once the COVID situation comes down a bit, I'll be back home to you. You know, uh -huh. just gonna come home and get a house and make sure you you stay with me in the house. Because after this contract, I'll retire, baby, so I could be with you. You know. Because all my life I've been, you know, busy with work and I had no time for my relationship life due to the nature of my job. But right now I want to settle down with my queen and, you know, enjoy the rest of my life with you. Okay. Go out on okay. vacations, go to the beach, you know, have dinner nights, just you and I. Uh -huh. You know, take wine together, go out for shopping. <laughs> Oh, well, I love me some wine, honey. I mean, it could be just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you like that. Do you like Pina? Pina? I love wine, honey. I drink about, I don't know, seven or eight bottles a week. Oh, well, that would be so nice because while we're taking our wine, I'll be holding your hands and <laughs> we'll be dancing all through with a good music, you know, just you and I holding each other and we're dancing, rolling, happy, you know, I got so many thoughts on my head about you, Dad. Oh, you know? I bet you do, honey. Well, if, we're, if you're holding my hand while I'm drinking the damn wine, <laughs> as long as you don't spill it, it'll be fine, honey. <laughs> you know, I, I just want to be home with you, baby. You know, I want, I want to be with you, wake up every morning next to you, you uh -huh. know, kiss you before I go to bed. Uh -huh. Say a prayer with you every time I wake up. Oh, honey, well, that sounds amazing. I wish you could come home sooner. Is there any way for you to come home sooner? Oh, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, I could come home just because of you. Maybe I, I could look for a way, you know. I just, right now, all I want right now is just to be with you. Oh. That's what can make me happy right now, just to see your face and hold your hand and kiss you. Uh-huh. Well, honey, I'm wondering, is there a way for, I mean, can you, can you leave early or end your contract, honey? I'd love to have you home kissing my face and drinking all my wine. Hello, baby, so I can't hear you. I told you the connection sometimes is kind of crappy. Yeah. Oh, it's fine, honey. You just got to listen with both ears. I said, is there any way you can end your contract early and come home so you can kiss my face and drink my wine? Can you type? Can you type? Well, kind of crappy, I, okay? I, I can tie, but I only got three fingers. When is there a way for you to come home early, honey? Okay, if I'll come home early? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely, yes, I'll come home early. I would, I would come home early. It's just the coronavirus, you know. The situation over here is rising by the day, so we're trying our best to make sure we make everything good and camp, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just thinking, honey, if you you could end your contract early, is there a way? I mean, I'd rather have you home with me than helping people survive. I'm more important, honey. Yeah, yeah. that's more important, you know, make people survive because lots of life have been lost, you know. Uh -huh. So greatly damaged and so many, many lives, so many business properties, and so many things have been lost due to the coronavirus, you know. I'm just... I'm happy you're good, you sound, and you're okay. You know, many persons can say this for themselves. Oh, they I know. How badly they've been affected. Oh, I know, honey. I'm just thinking, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of doctors over there. I wish you could just come home early just so we could be together. I'm selfish. Oh, 
Oh yeah, baby, I'll come home so early so we can be together, you know. Okay. Be with you is where I want to be, baby, with you. Mm. It's where I want to live, with you, mm. in your hands, you know, I by know. your side. I know, honey. I, you know, I have no doubt in my mind that there's no place you'd rather be than sitting in my house drinking my wine and eating my damn food. But, honey, how long are you going to be gone for? You know what? I said, how long are you going to be gone? How long am I going to be done with my contract? Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Oh, oh I'm, I'm thinking in less than um, four months, they about, depending on how fast time and depending on, you know, how many recoveries and how many lives are being affected. So I, I preach God, everything's going to go down due to the new administration administration, you know, Joe Biden, he, he's trying to make a way so the vaccines will be, you know, distributed and everything's going to be okay very soon, I believe, before a month, before um, February, I think um, the situation might have come down, so it will really help me to come close, you know, to come home and deal with you. So I'm just praying so the situation should just come down a bit. I understand, honey. I'm just being selfish. I want you all to myself, and you know, I want you to come home as soon as you can. I just, I'm just so lonely, honey. I just want, I want my doctor man by my side. <laughs> uh, you don't worry, baby. Don't worry. We're gonna spend the garden time, spend everything together. We're gonna be together. You know, your 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 my dream come true, that You you everything I ever wished for. And I'm really so happy, you know, to mm. finally be be with someone I really care about, someone who who's always there for me. Mm. And I really appreciate that, baby. You're the mm. best thing that's ever happened to me. Hope you know that. Oh, I know, honey. I got no doubt in the world I'm the best best thing that's ever happened. I mean, you probably go and cha ching, I hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny, you know, you're so funny and sweet. Your voice is it rings in my head like a, a song, you know. You're the melody in my heart, baby. Oh, sing to me. Oh, sing to me. Oh, baby. Oh, come on. <laughs> you, you should sing to me. Come on, baby. You should sing for me. Sing for me. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Do you know John Legend? All of me. I don't. Do you want to sing it to me, honey? I don't know John Legend, but apparently a lot of people do. Compose it, let me compose a song for you. Okay. How many times do I have to tell you? Even when you're smiling, you're beautiful too. You got my world spinning. No kidding, I can't pin you down. How many times do I have to tell you? Even when you're crying, you're beautiful too. You got my head spinning. No kidding, I can't pin you down. Uh, What's going on, that beautiful mind? I'm your magical Mr. Light. And I'm so busy, don't know what it may, but I'll be alright. My head on the water. But I'm breathing fine. Your beauty and I'm out of my mind. Cause all of me loves all of you. Love your perfect imperfection. You know, I'm, I'm not that very good, but you know, you inspire me to sing so well, baby. Oh, honey, you're just, you're great. I mean, yeah, you're not very good, but, uh, you know, that's okay. It's just so beautiful. I, 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 you got me just tearing up, honey. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm happy you like it. Now it's your time for you to sing for me. Come on, sing for oh, me, baby. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Sing for me. Come on, baby, you can do it. Sing okay. for me. Okay, shut up. I'll sing. Ready? Country music singers have always been a real close family. But lately, some of my kinfolk <laughs> have to sound a few others in me. I guess it's because I kind of 
Change my direction. Lord, I guess I went and broke their old family tradition. And they tell me, Betty, why do you drink? <laughs> why do you roll smoke? Why must you live out the songs that she wrote? <laughs> over and over, everybody makes my prediction. So if I get stoned and sing all night long, it's a family tradition. <laughs> Wow, wow, bravo, wow, you did so good. Come on, baby, why is it not you, you, you are having, you know, record that, you know, a song or something. You, you, you're born out there. Oh. You've got a good voice, baby. I, I know, honey, I've won karaoke competitions from here to Nashville. <laughs> oh, that's really great, you know. It's so, so lovely to hear you sing, you know. you got a, you got an amazing voice. Come on, baby. You, you should... <laughs> You, sh you should take, um, I think you should be singing or you should be a, a, a song artist, you know, you, you're you good. Every morning if I wake up, I'll just tell you to sing for me, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, honey, you're so damn sweet, I don't even know what to say at this point. <laughs> you got a main voice there, you're so, so, so great, you know. Okay. That's really good, I'm happy you know how to sing and you could sing for me. Oh, you should sing for me. Oh, honey, I love singing. I mean, I can sing. I, I love to just sing. But what's your favorite song, honey? I mean, what's your what's your ideal song? Yeah. What's your favorite song, honey? Who's your favorite singer? My favorite song is um, what's it called? You know about uh, John Legend? All of me. Oh, I. You know what? I swear to God, I think everyone from here to don't, Africa don't, loves him, John Legend. Don't, don't Baby, I'll, I'll, I'll send a link for you so you could download the song. It's really a great song, and you know, it's each time I, I get to read about the lyrics, it reminds me of how beautiful and how great you you, you love it, you know. Oh, honey, I've never had a man send me a John Legend song before. Goodness, okay. Well, my other song is, um, oh, you know, about this song, uh, what's it called? Um. Rockstar by a uh, big big party label fan. Oh, I don't know who they are, honey. I'm old as hell. Oh, baby, don't worry. You you get a, you know all of these person person. You know while we're listening to the song and with a glass of wine in our hand and we're dancing to it. You know me and you, you putting on a sexy gown and I take you out for lunch, dinner, we go out for dinner date, go out to the beach. Just you and I in the open wind and open water, and you know, just propose my love to you. Oh, honey, you're so damn romantic. I don't even know what to say. Oh, oh goodness, I've never been romanced like this before. <laughs> you're my, you, you're everything I ever wished for, baby. So I'm really happy, you know, that you have with me. You know, I want to spend everything in my life. I want to, I, I want to make sure you. You, you, the one I wake up to, you're the one I go to the bed with, prepare oh breakfast for you in the bed, you know, before you wake up, you got your breakfast. You oh. like that, right? Breakfast in bed. Oh, honey, I love to wake up with breakfast in bed. Now, I always start my morning with six pounds of bacon, a pancake, and five sausage links, honey. I don't, I don't like to eat a heavy breakfast, honey. That 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 really that's really great, baby. You know, it's really nice because I'm 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 I really like doing giving you breakfast in bed. You know, with a sweet massage yeah. in the morning. Yeah. You like massage, right? I massage you back with some oil, give you a nice soft and sweet massage. Oh, honey, that's so romantic. I mean, yeah, you can massage your oil, but don't get that don't get it on my damn sheets because I just bought them sheets at the Walmart last week. But oh, you're so romantic, honey! I can't wait for you to come home. Oh, don't worry, baby. When I come home, you're gonna you're gonna have the best sleep ever, baby, because you deserve it. You're my queen, and you also be treated like a queen. You know that, right? Oh, honey, I I can't wait to be a queen, honey. The only queen I knew was the little Earl that worked down at the nightclub. But honey, I can't wait to be your queen. 
Oh baby, you are my queen already, so you don't have to wait to be my queen, because you are my queen, okay? Oh, oh, oh honey, you're just so damn romantic, you can be my little king. <laughs> <laughs> you're so, so sweet, baby. You know how to cook? Do you know how to cook? Well, you know, I'm, I'm not a big cooker. I bought me one of them deep fryers, and, you know, me and my sister Barty, you know, deep fry damn near anything, so... Yeah, I cook sometimes. I make me some deep-fried Oreos and some potato puffs and some chicken wings and some deep-fried onion rings. Everything here, everything here is deep-fried, honey, but I'm really conscious about my health, so I cook for you, but, you know, it's just everything's going to be deep-fried, honey. Oh, baby, you don't have to worry about that because I always cook for you before I go out, you know. I'm a very good cook. You know, I'll give you the best meal. You, you're probably going to lick your hands, your ten fingers, after eating my dish, my special <laughs> dish. Just a special recipe for only you, baby. Oh, honey. Well, if you gave it to Barty, she'd probably bite your damn fingers off. But what's your special dish, honey? Oh, come on, baby. You lick all your fingers. You lick them up. Well, like that's how you get COVID. Them. But yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> baby, do you have any tattoos on your body or any body piercing? Oh, honey, I, I do. I mean, I've got, I <laughs> ain't gonna laugh. When I was 21, I went with my sister Bardeen and we got tramp, matching tramp stamps. And it's an angel wing. And it says, I love my sister. And she got my name and I got hers. But hers stretched out. So now it looks like a 747. But I've still got my little angel wing. <laughs> oh, baby, that's really nice. I, I would really want to see it. You send me a picture of it. And a picture of you, my sweet, beautiful queen. So I could always kiss you every morning. And every night before I go to bed, you know, oh, I honey, my heart. I will, sweetheart. I won't send you my sister Bardeen's tattoo because damn, that thing's stretched. But I will. I'll send you some photos, honey. And I'll, you know, send me some photos of you, sweetheart, because I can print them and put them next to my bedside. Uh, oh, definitely. That's what I want to do, too. You know, print it and put it by my bedside and wake up every morning and smile and kiss you by the head every, month, every night, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, me too, honey. I'll just gobble your damn up. So, oh, honey, it's been so fun talking to you. You're just such a sweetheart. Oh, baby, it's so, it's so, so really nice talking to you and your, your voice. You know, you made my day, you know, talking to you made my day. I haven't smiled since you were, you were not here with me. I'm really happy, you know, to finally get to hear from you. I'm so, so happy, baby. You know, if I could change the alphabet, I'll put you and I together. If I could change the alphabet. I just put you and I, just you and I, baby, in the full alphabet. Oh, honey, I wish to. You know, if I could change, I could change the wording around. I'd, I'd put the ash and hole right together, honey. You're just a sweet man. Oh, that's really great, baby. I know. I know. Well, baby, that is nice. So we could appreciate the day, you know. And there's you, there's me, so I could appreciate you. Honey, you can appreciate me as much as you want to, sweetheart. I mean, you can hell, you can worship me if you want, but you just I just can't wait to have you home in my arms and we can eat bonbons and listen to John Legend. Baby, don't worry, I'm gonna come home to you, you know. You know, baby, if I could avoid, baby, if love can be avoided by simply closing our eyes, then I would blink. I, I won't blink at all, baby, for I don't want to let a second pass away. You know, without having to fall in love with you. Oh, honey, well, I got dry eyes, so I blink like 40 times a minute. But, oh, honey, I, you're not going to miss anything. Once you're home with me, we're going we gonna to do all the things couples do. We're going to go to Walmart together. We're going to go to KFC. We're going to argue. We're going to buy scratch-offs together. It's going to be beautiful, honey. It's going to be like, I don't know, like a Disney fairy tale. You kiss you, make, you know. Only you, I feel so warm, you know, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. stay inside of you, just go inside and stay oh. inside of you. Okay, honey. Yeah. Well, you know, if you're feeling warm, honey, you better take your temperature because you probably got the damn COVID, but I can't wait for you to be here with me and I can show you where I live and, you know, my house is your house, honey. El Casa del Su Casa, honey. Why don't we get a new house, you know? Maybe you just do something for me, you know. After I get my, my paycheck, I'll send you some money so you could get a house, you know, a house close to the, 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 the seaside or the beach. So we could always, you know, just you and I, you and I alone. Then oh. the kids, 
could, the kids could come anytime they wish, or they could stay over at the house, or we, we, we rent the apartment, we look for something to do with the apartment, but we get a new house. So oh. you and I could start all over from the new house, you know. Oh, honey, well, that, that's so exciting. I'd love to get me one of them bitch houses down by the sea, honey. That'd be amazing. I mean, I don't know how to swim, but I'm sure that if I fell in, you'd rescue me. <laughs> Baby, I'll teach you how to swim. You don't have to worry about that, okay? I'm okay. A perfect, I'm a perfect instructor in that, okay? So I'll teach you how to swim, and you teach me so many things, you know, and I'll teach you so many things as I, it's supposed to be. Baby, do you ever go to the orphanage, the, the orphanage to help them out over there? The orphanage? Hell, I don't know if we got a damn orphanage over here. We got it. I don't know, but my neighbor down the street got about 30 kids, so it could be. Uh, not really, honey. Why do you ask? Oh, because I, I I always like going to the orphanage to help them out, you know. Oh. Sometimes I go there to make sure they're okay because, you know, having to live a life without parents, it's really, really hard, you know. And growing up with, with such so so difficult most persons are like you know sharing my love mm -hmm. extending my love to them oh. and making sure they know that there's someone always there for them you know because those people those kids actually it's someone they could learn from because if they don't have someone they could learn from they could turn into thugs and terrorists which is very very bad and what we don't actually want for our society so the only little thing we could do is just to show some concern and some love to them, you know, make them feel among. Oh, honey, I agree. You know, it's like Whitney Houston said, the children are our future. Teach them well, let them lead the way or something or other before she died. But anyway, no, I don't have an orphanage. I mean, I sometimes go to the dog pound. That's kind of like, you know, an orphanage for dogs. But um, is there an orphanage where you're at, honey? Okay. So what? I said, I, I, I don't never been to an orphanage, but I've been to the damn dog pound. That's kind of the same thing. But uh, is there an orphanage where you're working, honey? No, no, but I just have this love for them, you know, this compassion, you know, to always be there, to be, you know, to be there for them whenever they, they need help from anyone, you know. But what about your kids? Do your kids stay with you? Oh, hell no, honey. Well, I got my little son, Kyle. He's 28. But, you know, he he's working. He's got a great job, honey. I'm so proud of him. He's working at the sewer plant. And he's the lead turd pumper. And so he's gone a lot. But the, I just got the one son. You got a bunch of little kids running around, honey? Okay. Hope you're safe from the COVID-19. Hope he's keeping safe over there. Oh, yeah, he wears his little plastic suit and everything. Um, do you have kids, honey? Okay, that's, that's really interesting. You know, I'm happy to hear that. That is okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, so you tell me about just what's happening around you. What did you do today? Well, honey, you know, it's been a quiet day. I went to the Costco with my sister because she was out of them Kirkland sausages. And, um... I got a pound of cheese and some pita pockets and I got some chicken wings and then we sampled everything like five or six times and then we left. Um, and then we went to um, we went to Kmart because she needed some new sheets and then, you know, I came home and I had a little swim in my pool and I just, you know, I live a leisure life, honey. I don't got to work, you know, I really don't have to do anything but enjoy my life and uh I watched some TV, you know, I watched 90 Day Fiance with Rebecca and Zied, and I watched them eat mozzarella sticks, and then, you know, I just thought, I'm going to look for you, because I haven't heard from you in forever, and I thought something happened, and I was so upset. Oh, baby, you know, if I if I don't hear from you in a day, you know, it, it's more like, like I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm really sick, you know, I feel so sick if I don't hear from you, you're like a medication to me, baby, you're the medication to me. Yeah. Each time I don't have for you, you, I get very sick. Very, oh. very sick, baby. Honey, do you have a brother? <laughs> no, I have none. I have nobody, just my son. I told you about my son, right? I have a son. Oh, uh, you did? I forgot. What's his name, honey? I told you his name is, uh, what's it called? Didn't I tell you his name is Jackson? Oh, you might have, because I was thinking of Michael. Yeah, Jackson. Well, he's such a sweet little boy. Yeah, you bought him too. 
Well, how, honey, how old is Jackson? I can't, hell, I can't remember one day from the next. You said what, baby? How old is your little kid? Hello, baby. Can you hear you properly? I think the connection is crappy again. I, I just asked, how old is little Jackson, honey? How old is my son? Yeah, honey. Oh, I told you he's 22. He's 22. Oh, oh, that's right. He's 22. My little Kyle's 28, so maybe they can be playmates. Hello, baby. Can you hear me? I can't hear you properly. Oh, honey, I'm here, sweetie. You got a bad connection. It's just breaking my damn heart. Connection is really crappy, baby. Oh, well, why don't we text, honey? That'd probably be easier, baby. Okay, baby. Just text me, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm done with this phone call. Let's just text. Mwah. Oh, baby, you're so sweet. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, I know, honey. You told me something sweet for you in the call, okay? Okay, honey, something sweet. You know, you're like a Krispy Kreme donut that's been glazed three times and left on my, my car roof in the sun. Honey, you're just dripping sweet. Uh-huh. That's so sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, there are three little boys I want to say to you. Three sweet ones. Just for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I adore you What? I love you. Hello? Oh, honey, you love me? That's so sweet, baby. Okay, baby. Won't you tell me back? Oh, honey, I love me too, oh, honey. honey. You're, just, you're just the sweetest thing I've ever met. I mean, I've never had a man serenade me John Legend and tell me that he, I'm like his medication. Hell, honey, I feel loved. Oh, baby. Can we text? Can you clearly? Yes, let's text. I'm getting annoyed. And don't forget to send the pictures. Oh, I will, honey. Don't you worry, baby. Yeah. Okay, baby. I'm waiting. Okay, baby. Bye, 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 honey. Mm. Mm. So I ended the call with him. Um, his connection is really bad, and I keep having to turn down the volume because I keep getting feedback. So, um, if you notice the last two chats we've had, um, the scammers have uh, sent John Legend songs, and um, it's very popular for them to do that. That in the band Westlife. So, uh, it's just something to keep in mind if you're talking to somebody online and they suddenly want to send you a John Legend song and they only know you for a few minutes. So, thanks for listening. If there's a conclusion to this, we'll make a part two. As always, thanks again. Bye.